How you doing? My name is Alan Rucker. I'm a nurse and a paramedic with over 20 years experience in the medical field. Today we're doing part two of Intelligent Triangle because we're trying to show you the basic premonition on how the current travels for each lead. Okay? So before I told you about the right axis deviation, let me show you what a left axis deviation is. So LAD, left axis deviation. This lets us know if the left ventricle has enlarged, okay? Using a patient with a cupomer edema. But what we look at is we look at this. If normal transmission or conduction of electrical current happens, it goes negative to positive, like I told you in the first video. If there's a problem, maybe a patient had a heart attack and the electrical conduction system is scarred, then we have what's known as retrograde transmission, right? Instead of it going negative to positive, it goes positive to negative. So what happens is you'll see in lead two and you'll see in lead three, you will see right inverted QRS complexes. If you see this in lead two and lead three, then you know you have a left axis deviation. What is that telling you? That the left ventricle has enlarged, left ventricular hypertrophy. That's what this tells you. So anytime you look at lead two and you see an inverted QRS complex, most likely you're going to see the same thing in lead three. Why? Because the current travels the same way, negative to positive, negative to positive. You might see different when you look at lead one. In lead one, you can have it flowing the normal way. So you might see a normal upward QRS complex, but however, you will see it inverted in lead two and three. Left axis deviation will let you know that the patient left ventricle has enlarged. And usually that's indicative of your patients having heart attacks, right? Which then some patients have acute pulmonary secondary to those injuries, all right? Mitral valve prolapses also could be a cause of it, all right? So thank you for watching. You can you can follow us in the and look in the description page and that will also tell you our contact information. But again, thank you for watching.